Questions? Do you? Could the DNR decide that the deck is stacked against them and withdraw everything, and then what would happen? Do you know? That would be a question for Michelle. She's going to be up in a minute. I don't know what the story is in that. Yes, sir. This is, uh, this is a lovely place out here, quiet, kind of out of the way and stuff. Do you have any, can you tell us a little bit about how you found out about this, how, how you think they knew you, why they picked you, anything like that? Well, they didn't really pick me as much as I picked them. They put out a declaratory ruling saying that pigs with certain characteristics are illegal. And my pigs were on that list. And so uh, we were asked to go to a briefing that the DNR was going to tell us, you know, what the story was. And they basically just, they just told us, if your pigs have a straight tail or a curly tail, um, if your pigs have a floppy ear or an erect ear, if your pigs have, uh, uh, if the pigs are black, if your pigs are white, if your pigs are spotted white, if your pigs are brown, if they have long hair, if they have belly fur, um, then your pigs are illegal. And you only have to have one of those. And the ninth one was other characteristics not currently known to the DNR. So if your pigs have characteristics that's not currently known to the DNR, that's an illegal pig. So when I saw that, I knew it was uh, double speak. And we really had no choice but to file suit against them to continue our, our operation. We used to have a lot more pigs here, but right now I can't sell them, so we've pared them down to the minimums right now, um, just so we can keep them fed.